Hey, what's up guys, Sandeep here. And in this video, I'm gonna share my second round of interview with Publisher Sapient, which was on JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Uh, so in my last video, I already have shared the React round, which was the first round prior to the second round. So if you haven't watched that round, you can go back to my YouTube channel and there will be a video for round one. You can watch the round, which was on Core React. And this is the second round, which is also a technical round, as I said, one hour, 30 minutes long, which is on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So the interview started with uh, what are semantic elements and how is it useful? What do you mean by request type cycle? Explain uh, like how does browser understands your JS code, whatever JS code you like, right? How does your browser compiles and understands them? What is the use of async and defa in your script tag? So if you are writing a script, script tag basically so you generally use async and defer so uh, because uh, at the time of fetching the scripts so there is something called async way and there is something called defer way so what are both of this uh, like what is the use of pre-connect in css so if you use if you import some style sheet uh, from any third party source then you'll use a tag called pre-connect uh, it's like a within a tag as a prop you'll use a pre-connect why is it used and what is the use of that? What is CSS specificity? What are CSS selectors and some basic CSS rules that, and guidelines that we should follow? What are mixins? And how is JS in CSS helpful? So I have used a library called style components where generally I have used JS in CSS. For the ninth question, the C, uh, there was a CSS task given to me, not actually one, there's like three of them given to me uh by the interviewer so first task if you see on the left hand side corner there is task one task two and task three task one so there uh, the interviewer said there can be n number of items so for every odd item you have to every odd item you have to color it with uh like uh, uh red and for every even item you it, it should be colored as black so how will you achieve that using css the second css task he gave us now task so there are like n number of tasks and only out of those in numbers, only one needs to be red in color. For example, say the sixth element needs to be red in color. So how will you achieve that using CSS? And the third task that he gave me, like uh, there was uh, basically it's on Flexbox. So there was n number of uh, like containers, like a container within that container. There was like three or four divs and he told me to uh, flex wrap it so that whenever you will uh, shrink down your screen size uh, it should uh, like adapt according to the screen size so that was the c stars all three he gave me number 10 questions he it was he was like uh, what is scope chain in javascript and how js engine uh, basically reads scope chain uh, what is hoisting difference between variable and function hoisting basic difference between for each and map function the 13 questions was like explain the, this keyword so yeah this is a very common question this keyword uh, call apply bind again uh, this keyword i was going to explain then uh, on the concept of uh, call apply and bind uh, like he told me to explain that this keyword as well there also uh, and told me to show some examples for call apply and bind what is the major difference between es5 and es6 in javascript like what are whatever the changes are there in like es6 uh, as compared to ES5, you need to explain that. Uh, so he gave me a task uh, on where, like, uh, he told me it, it was a basically task on event handling and DOM manipulation on vanilla JavaScript. So basically, tell me, he told me to uh, made make counter based on increment and decrement, uh, which was using vanilla JavaScript, and the output needs to be shown on the screen. And not on a screen like console log, it's like uh, on a div actually within the uh, like window itself. The 17th was like well, explain encapsulation in javascript and on base on the on base of that he was like how closure are useful in javascript so yeah and number 18th was this 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 was based on cutting so n number of sums how can you achieve it so this was on cutting as well uh, what are promises and how promises are different from a sync of it uh, so he told me to explain uh, like how do you do error handling on your project so generally i said i use try catch to do this error kind of handling within code level so that is that the difference between promise.all and promise.race 
uh, number 20 second was like write a js code to check whether an entered email is valid or not so you need to check uh, by inputting an element whether the email uh, is valid or not by writing a js logic uh, number 23rd was like uh, what are prototypes in javascript uh, what are function compositions and on based of function composition he told me to explain what are higher order functions and how it is useful uh, dry and solid principles uh, what do you mean by web accessibility explain uh, what is caching mechanism and service workers? Uh, how do you optimize your website for better load times? Uh, so you need to, to tell all the, like what are the varieties of things that you need to do to make your website load faster, uh, both on the code level as well as not on the code level. Let's say you use DNS to fetch things to cache your website or your web page and X, Y, Z. Uh, Webpack, Babel, code splitting. So there were a few questions on Webpack, Babel, and code splitting. Same as like uh, like JS minification. Why is it useful? Uh, some basic few Git commands. Uh, what is the useful use of ESLint and how is it all useful? So there were more questions like short short snippets and short concepts questions here and there that I have not mentioned. But all of the most of the important things of the questions that I've already mentioned here. So yeah, so this question might help you wherever you are interviewing. So this was it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, do like, share this video. And if you have any sort of request, you can put down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and goodbye.